Gemini, what is going on? This is Renee. And this will be your love reading for February. If you have Gemini anywhere in your chart, Sun, Moon, or Rising, Venus, this reading is for you. We have perform a random act of kindness. So there's some kind of kindness someone wants you to take notice of, take a look at. Someone needs your assistance. Look for signs and synchronicities. So you may be seeing numbers at the moment. You may be seeing 1111, which are angel numbers, which are letting you know that your angels are guiding you. They're seeing you through your current situation. Um, they're at your side. You know, you may be seeing 222, which is the numbers of uh, union. The numbers of needing to make a decision, needing to make important choices. This is also unions and friendships. Love coming through for you. So take notice of the signs and synchronicities that you're seeing that are coming forward for you. They're very important. I feel like Spirit is letting you know to pay attention to those signs and synchronicities. Okay, let's take a look. What is going on for Gemini? We have regret. There's some kind of regret going on. I know that I cannot change the past. So, Gemini, you may be thinking too far in the past. You may be really not paying attention to what's going on right now because you're too caught up on seeing past hurts past events trying to replay themselves and we have friendship I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason so you may have some sort of friendship that you are focusing on some kind of friendship that's starting to build that is starting to change your situation I understand that something that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Yeah, so you may need to make the, a move on a certain situation at the moment. There may be a need for you to act. A need for you to set some kind of action into motion. Okay, let's get a message for Gemini. What do we have for Gemini, please? The Ace of Pentacles. So someone is coming in for an offer. Someone really wants you to pay attention. Um, I feel like someone's offering you some kind of situation. Uh, they may be offering you to take a trip. The Page of Wands, this is going on a journey. This is finding new passion, finding new creative ventures taking inspired action the page is just at the beginning of their journey so it's just very interesting that the page is right after the ace of pentacles the ace of pentacles is also new beginnings this is someone offering you something so i feel like you're you're being offered to go on a new journey um someone's offering you their cup and i feel like they may provide you with some kind of invitation to go out to get to know each other better to go on this new venture um, this could be in work this could be very possibly in work because the pentacles and the wands also deal with your work and career life so I feel like this may be someone that you know this may be someone that you're familiar with we have the knight of swords so someone really wants to tell you their truth. They really want to speak something to you. And I really feel like they want you to take notice. They want to be recognized. You know, there's someone who's in your life that you may not even be aware of. We have the Three of Swords. So I feel like you're dealing with a lot of past emotions. 
Gemini. You may have had some disappointment, some heartache in the past. And I feel like you're really caught up in those past emotions. You are worried about reliving those situations again. So I feel like that is something that you may need to let go of. Because I feel like that's the reason why we have this regret here because things have happened in the past that have kind of put you in a state of stalled you know you're kind of in this stuck energy so i feel like it's very important for you to meditate and move past this these feelings of regret definitely definitely that regret is done and over with it's in the past it's gone it's dead it's totally ended. So you have this ending and you have this new beginning. So which do you focus on? Do you focus on your, you know, the, what's in the past? Or do you focus on this new beginning? Of course you focus on the new beginning because that's going to set you apart. You know, that's your future is something that can be changed. Your past cannot no matter how hard you try, the past cannot change its destination because it's the past. So, Gemini, your past is dead and gone. And I feel like you're taking some alone time to really focus on yourself. To change your, your perspective in the situation. Because I feel like this is you sacrificing something that happened in your past. But this is this is energy that needs to be let go of. This past energy. This is something that needs to be released. Definitely. And I feel like you totally understand that. Once that energy is released, look at this. We have the Ten of Pentacles. So once you release the past from binding you, from blocking you from what is set for your future, you're going to have a lot more abundance, a lot more happiness. Love is going to find their way to you. But I feel like you're only able to do this by releasing whatever is binding you. Exactly. By working on the things that you know that you need to work on. This is energy of having patience. Something being delayed. You know, but you working hard because you want that successful relationship. You want that beautiful relationship that you are anticipating, that you're dreaming of. And I feel like this is you working on your situation. I feel like you're working on your happiness because you know that this Ten of Pentacles is right there. It's just, Spirit is letting you know, don't give up. Keep moving. Keep doing the hard work. Keep having patience in this situation. Because your happiness is just around the corner. Your happiness is coming in for you. You just have to be patient. We have the Two of Wands. So I feel like with this Two of Wands energy, I feel like love is coming. And I feel like this is you patiently waiting for the situation to unfold. And this is you maybe making plans to go see this person or this person is making plans to go see you. Because the Two of Wands is also travel. It's also making plans for travel. You know, so I feel like <clears throat> you're, you're making these plans to go on this destination to see your person. And look at this. You're going to see your King of Cups. Or he is coming to see you. Because the King of Cups, he's very loving. He's very patient. He's very nurturing. And I feel like this King of Cups is going to bring you a lot of emotional stability. Exactly. It's going to bring you out of this feeling of being stuck. Out of this feeling of no movement. You know, I feel like this is going to bring you stability. A solid foundation. And I feel like the King of 
Cups is building this relationship upon a solid foundation. I feel like they're taking their time. They're making sure that everything is right. Everything is perfect in the situation. Look at this. We have the, the judgment card on the bottom. This is you moving from a place where you've always known to being reborn in this new situation. And I feel like this is you, Gemini, moving away from the past and moving forward into a more, uh, <clears throat> into a new life purpose. Finding a new life purpose, you know? I feel like this is really beautiful energy. And I feel like truths are going to be told in this situation. I feel like this is communication. This is you communicating with the King of Cups. Letting them know your plans. Letting them know your desires. This is also very curious energy. Wanting to explore. Wanting to get to know each other much better. So I feel like you're doing a lot of work. Look at this. You also have the Page of Pentacles. So the Page of Pentacles, there, you're going to receive an offer of stability. This is going to make you more stable. The King of Cups, he's bringing in this offer to pursue this situation much clearly. I feel like also with this page, <clears throat> the King of Cups is a very reliable person. You know, I feel like they're going to bring you some kind of news of a visit very soon. They may be offering to support you as well on your journey. They may send you the, the money that you need to travel to see them. Very interesting energy. I feel like with these pages, I feel like this is a generous offer that they're providing to you. This King of Cups is coming in. And I feel like it's, it's bringing more luxury. It's bringing more stability. Um, it's setting the foundation. With this Nine of Pentacles. I feel like this person is very self-sufficient. This person is very well to do. They may have been single for some time. Give me another message, spirits. And we have the King of Swords. I definitely feel like this person likes to talk. This person really likes to communicate. You may stay on the phone with this person for long hours. Um, <clears throat> you may communicate back and forth by text message, by email, by DM. But I feel like you have long conversations with this person. You're really getting to know them much better. You're really getting to know how this person ticks, you know, how they think, what their plans are for the future. Very interesting. We have the, the five of pentacles in reverse. So I definitely feel like where you once felt like you were left out, like you were being left alone, like you were being unappreciated. I feel like you now feel more appreciated. You now feel very self-sufficient. You feel like you've gained instead of loss, you know. Um, with this Five of Pentacles energy, I feel like you're being included. And something very special. We have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, now look how she's looking inside that cup. She's really focused on this cup. 
where where she thought that everything was lost everything was not worth the fight she's looking at this one cup with a lot of love a lot of care uh, she's really focused and paying attention to what's inside this cup and what this cup can offer to her so I really feel like you're really focusing on what your future can bring and what this person can really bring to the table I feel like you're looking at your future contentment. You're looking at what <clears throat> can bring more contentment to you. Um, definitely. You're looking for balance. You're looking for that harmony. And I feel like that harmony is on its way to you. You're going to feel more balanced. You're going to feel more happy in your situation. And the temperance card is also a card of having patience in your situation. Having self-control. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So beautiful energy here. I feel like with the King of Cups and the King of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles uses her resources in a way that builds her stability, builds her foundation. Look how she's looking at that pinnacle. And she's focused on what that pinnacle can bring into her future. She's not even focused on this rabbit. The rabbit represents her fears, her doubts, her disbelief. She's fully focused on the pinnacle. And I feel like, Gemini, this is you. You're focused on your pinnacle. You're focused on what value the situation will bring into your life. What um, the future holds, you know. Let's get some more cards here. Let's see what you and your person are feeling in love. Let's get some more cards here for Gemini and their person. Let's see what's coming out. For Gemini, we have Twin Flames. Your passion ignites. So this may be a Twin Flame coming into your life. We also have Wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So that could be very important to take your time. Don't force something if it's not meant to be. But I feel like taking your time in the situation is going to build a stronger foundation. A solid and uncrumbable foundation. For them, we have sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. So, this person is really lusting for you. They're really yearning for you. I feel like, yeah, there's a lot of talk going on. But I feel like this person is yearning for Libra. Excuse me, learning for, for, for Gemini. Okay, we have acceptance. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are there is no point trying to change that which is beyond your control yes having this person is trying very hard to have self-control they're trying very hard not to want you so bad sexually you know and i feel like they're trying to hold back they're trying to have patience but i feel like their patience is like so weak i feel like they're they're trying very hard Okay, let's get some more cards for Gemini. Let's get some more cards for Gemini. What card do we have for Gemini, please? In love, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay. <clears throat> we have the runner. Okay, so Gemini. I feel like you have a tendency to run away from situations that you're really fearful of. I feel like you have a need of running away. Um, 
for your person we have love call someone expresses love a message of love thinking of you and letting you know so yeah i feel like this person really likes to to talk to you on the phone they really really like to hear your voice to really conversate and get to know you on every level i feel like this person i feel like they they may want to talk a lot because they miss you they're really thinking about you on a deep level we have the boat for you gemini so i believe that this could be you traveling um but it says receiving what you need progression arriving moving on closure issues so yeah i feel like I feel like in this situation, you're definitely going to receive exactly what you need emotionally. This person is delivering and they're offering. And I feel like you're accepting. Okay, we have, oh my goodness. For your person, we have kisses. Unconditional, loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. So this person really wants to be intimate. They really want to feel you close to them now we also have wedding bells wedding rings excuse me uh union wedding marriage soul connection eternal love everlasting promise so yeah i feel like this situation could really turn into something long lasting something that's going to really um evolve into something much greater now your person may be a little traditional as well because we have the cassette the cassette is outdated thinking conditioning replaying events over in your head so i feel like if this is your person your person is very traditional there um may have that thinking of old beliefs um they may conform to some kind of situation of society you know they might want to get married right away or they may have these traditions to where they want their wedding a certain way but I feel like your person is very traditional this could also be you going back kind of holding yourself to those past beliefs so that may be something that you need to release Gemini that may be something that you want to let go of um, I'm going to take one more card because I feel like there's a need to clarify. Um, okay. <clears throat> what do we have for Gemini? Sun, moon, and rising in love. What do we have for Gemini, please? Opportunity and change. Yeah, I feel like this situation is holding a great opportunity. And it's going to make you feel a lot of change a lot of situations are coming in for you and i feel like this is also a learning experience so i feel like you're you know as you go through these changes as you go through getting to know each other getting to know each other's likes and dislikes you know getting to know each other's beliefs and disbeliefs i feel like this is a learning process you're learning this person so it's definitely going to take time time it's definitely going to be a huge change that's going in your life you also have spiritual growth so i really feel like spirit is on your side spirit is protecting you in your situation you're having guidance. I feel like you're seeing the big picture. And Spirit is letting you know it's okay to run the distance. You know. Um, that is what I have for you, Gemini. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And... Take a look at your sun, moon, and rising as I upload them. Um, I'm going to upload the rest of the week, so you'll be able to find them, check back. You'll be able to see more messages for you. And Gemini, until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.